Flavor HD on great affiliates all around the country. Hannah Stanley, Dane Neal, and here we are with uh, one of the top celebrity chefs in the world, right? Here in Chicago with us is Chef Curtis Stone. Curtis, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Nice to see you guys. We just got to catch your demo, and we were wondering if we could sign you up for an improv class, get you to take yourself a little bit less seriously, because it was just complete fun and games. It was like MTV does cooking. <laughs> it was pretty wild, wasn't it? And that girl that came up on stage with me was just crazy. I loved her. Yeah. Now, are those are those real people doing spontaneous things, or do you have some professional actors in the crowd? <laughs> They're real people. I mean, I think I after a demo like that, I'm like, you know what? I should ask her if she wants to come on the road with me, do a little comedy <laughs> show, because it's just, you know, to fill you in, it was just a little bit crazy. We had this, you know, loopy girl who came up, and she was so much fun jumping around and dancing and cooking, and it was really cool. Well, the demo was a lot of fun a lot of hijinks but you're here for some serious reasons one of which is the new book that's out and when it comes to cookbooks it is a beautiful book I mean obviously great pictures in there great pictures of yourself awesome pictures of the food what was some of the motivation behind it and why should big fans make sure not to miss this one um, look this is about relaxed cooking which to me is how we should be cooking we should be relaxed while we're cooking you know you shouldn't it shouldn't be too stressful you should be able to pull together dinner with five six seven ingredients not these drawn out cooking methods so it's a really simple book now, are there any things in there? Because the pictures all look great, but are you know you're filling a cookbook. Sometimes it's not your favorite things every single recipe, unless it is. Are there some in there? But hey, when you get the book, start with this one and maybe this one. Well, I've got so many favorites. You know, I I write for a supermarket in Australia, a supermarket in the Midwest. I write for magazines, and you know we probably produce four or five hundred recipes a year. So, um, you know, when I do a book, it's it's more or less picking the hundred and fifty favorites oh, okay. out of this huge library. So, um, I, I, I'm really excited about it. Now, when I was going through this, it, as Dane mentioned, it is beautiful. The pictures are gorgeous. It's it's good to just sit and thumb through. But when you're going through these, how long does it take? You mentioned you can do like four or 500 recipes a year, but how long does it take you to go through them, edit them, dumb them down if you need to at all to put together a book start to finish? Look, it takes a long time. If, if you just worked exclusively on a book, which of course you never do, but if you did, um, I think you'd probably be at it for a good few months because you, you come up with the ideas, then you cook the recipes, and then you refine them, and then you write the intros, and then you do a photo shoot, and then you edit it. You know, it, it does take a long, long time. So I'd, I'd say to do a good job of it, three months. So maybe you're the inspiration for people to get the book. They look inside there, they think of things that they want to make, you know, beautiful things that they want to go ahead and prepare. Well, they need good equipment for it. And that's one of the things you're here doing too, is you've got your own line of cookware, your own line of bakeware coming out soon. Yeah, absolutely. We've, uh, we're here at the Chicago um, Homeware Show to, to actually talk about that. And we've got a booth and we're showing it off to all the different stores and distributors. So I think you're going to see it real soon. You know, We've got a great response. People are really excited about it. So if you've got a little specialty kitchenware store near you, go in and ask them for it. Yeah, we actually heard a little rumor that it was going to launch this weekend on HSN. So people can tune in throughout the weekend and, and, and check it out. But it's silicone and tell us about it. Yeah, look, what it is, the bakeware is actually traditional bakeware, so it's non-stick, but then in the bottom inch of the pan, I've put silicone. So the, the traditional bakeware is fused with the silicone, so you can just flex the pan ever so slightly, so the pan, the cake just pops out, it literally just pops out. It's, it's one of those genius items that you look at it and you're like, why didn't someone else do this, right, you know? So. You sit and I shake the cake pan and then you hit it and you tap it and you go around with the knife and then you're scratching. So this is so exciting to me. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's, it's the foolproof way to bake. And that's just one of the, uh, the pieces that we've got in this huge assortment of uh, product that actually solves problems that you're faced with when you cook. So the whole purpose of doing the line is just to simplify that cooking process. Well, you talk about being involved in things, picking out the recipes, they're all your own, the favorite ones you've distilled down from so many, and, and with the line of bakeware and cookware as well, I mean, you were involved in every step of the way as far as the process goes. So when they get that, they're getting the thing that you wanted that you designed. Absolutely. Look, it's, it's my business. So it's me and another guy started it from scratch and we funded it ourselves, which isn't the usual way this stuff comes together. Normally it's another brand and a chef sort of slaps their name on it and, you know, all the development's done usually buy a factory somewhere in China and that's just sort of how it goes but I wanted to take a different approach to it I wanted to develop product that I really believe in and that I really care about and it makes me happy I love cooking with it so I love sharing it with people well, that's one of the things you do is is you tend to make people happy you know people people love you they're excited to see you you're on a lot of the different shows and a, a show that is coming up you can't let the cat too much out of the bag but oh I said cat 
I didn't mean to though. That was that was an inadvertent. That's a nice segue. Absolutely, you guys are you're going to be having a, a bigger presence on television maybe than you've had in the past with a brand new show. Absolutely, and we're talking about letting the cat out of the bag. Let's right. let cat out of the bag. We've got Cat Cora, who's going to be my co-host on uh, on Around the World in Eighty Plates, which is this incredible show. That's like I, I say to people, if Top Chef and The Amazing Race had an affair, this would be their love child because. <laughs> It's like this incredible show where we take 12 chefs around the world and they go on this crazy culinary competition and race and it's just so much fun. So how long did that take from start to finish with the filming of that? We shot for about 40 days, 44 days to be precise, and we went to 10 countries in the 44 days. And you can imagine, you're on and off a plane every couple of days and just seeing some incredible places. And, you know, these guys were planting rice in rice paddies in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And then the next day they're in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And the next day they're, you know, they're, they're roasting in these huge roasting pits, you know, competing with asadors. And then the, the following day we're in France and they're herding sheep and tasting cheeses. And it was just so amazing. It's absolutely amazing stuff. Well, here in America, you're a big part of the celebrity chef scene that's going on. I wanted to know, you know, from Australia, is a similar thing happening there? Is it a little bit different here? I mean, I know that you're a big celebrity there, but it, do they have the same kind of food scene and food celebrity scene in Australia? Yeah, look, they do. It's, it's, it's the same thing's happened. We, we, everybody's gotten fascinated with food again, which is a brilliant trend, you know. It's unreal, and it's, it's something that we should be really passionate about. It's our fuel, and it's, it's what keeps us healthy, and it's what keeps us together as a group of people. And I really think food's so, so important, and we, 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 can't, we can't give it enough, you, you know, of our attention. For those people that want to get more information about the book, the cookware, all the projects that you're doing, is there one place or maybe one or two places they can go? They can go to curtisstone.com. That's the best place to go and just find out everything that I'm up to. My calendar's on there. so And I'm traveling around at the moment, so you know there's a good chance you'll probably bump into me at one point or another. And we've got all the release dates of the TV shows and books and all that stuff. Curtis, can't thank you enough for being in the show. So thanks for having me, guys. It was a lot of fun. Hey, this is Chef Curtis Stone, and you're listening to Hannah and Dane on Flavor HD.